it's been one week since the new year began and I hope you guys are doing well. Um, for me, I've, I've gained two more subscribers, uh, so I'm up to 11 subscribers now, so that's, that's good. Every single subscriber at this point when I'm small uh, YouTube channel, it just gives me motiva motivation to do uh, more. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to be reacting to Young Turk's uh, video because uh, uh, I found out that over in the US, um, Airbnb investors are suffering actually right now because of the decline in the occupancy rates and, and therefore their revenue has gone down quite substantially. Sometimes uh, in, in certain cases, uh, there's even 0% occupancy. And so I'm just gonna uh, watch the video and see what's happening over there and um, give my uh, thoughts on that. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look. Two years ago, I bought a house in Palm Springs wow. and renovated it. And last January, I put it on Airbnb. Wow, she renovated when the house a was lot. finally ready, I was that so excited like to see how it would the middle of the do desert. on Airbnb. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, you guys. Yeah, I wouldn't it's do that kind of investment. That's, we, that's a lot of capital for it's me. It's not looking not good. Uh, who have noticed that their bookings have gone down considerably. Well, if you look at these houses, right, these um, they serve no other purpose than accommodate for families on vacation. So it's pretty risky for me. That's uh, only one purpose properties. Yeah, not ideal. In some cases, not a single booking for the rest of the year. Now what's going on? Hmm, maybe the uh, market might be oversaturated with short term rentals. Hopefully they're not over to leveraged stare from and they don't face. lose those homes. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, I, I know, gonna, I know. I'm being super up. giddy and like ridiculous about it, but I can't help it. Think about what this means, guys. The short-term vacation rental market is oversaturated. Yeah, that's These true. These are typically apartments or single-family homes mm -hmm. that did mortgages or long-term rentals. But they got snatched up by white collar workers, wealthy people who are like, I just want to make some passive income. In the okay, of wait. <laughs> okay, wait. That's true. That's certainly my case. But I certainly didn't have that attitude where I was like, I just want to have passive income. Like it's gonna be easy. You know, <laughs> you got to put in the effort. You got to treat it like a business, and you have to run it. You have to take care of it. Um, once you set it up and you get a good property manager, which in my case, yes, um, it does become quite hands off. But you know, you can't you can't just expect it to just make money for you like without doing anything. I certainly didn't have that attitude, but like everything else you said is correct. So now we have this oversaturation of these short term rentals, and the people who invested their money in it, hoping for some passive income, aren't getting. <laughs> Why does she do that? They're not getting any income right now. Because again, the market is oversaturated. So let me give you some more details. No, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, so this all she's started really, with a viral tweet. Really, I gotta uh, show this to you. About this. Texas runner DFW quote tweeted it and said, the Airbnb bust is upon us. And in it, there's a an Airbnb super host who says, Whoa, has anyone seen a huge decrease in bookings over the last occupancy. three to four months? We went from at least 50% occupancy to literally 0% in the last two months. I'm just curious if this is something only going on with my property or if other people are seeing similar things. I'm in Palm Springs. Where are you located? I, I mentioned this before, but I it, like if you have properties that are just doing only one thing, which is like vacation homes, uh, this is what you can expect to happen when there's economic downturn. Well, uh, no, the uh, occupancy has actually declined quite a bit. Now they're thinking about either selling the properties or instead of doing short term rentals, doing long term, you know, normal rentals for people who need housing, which means it could increase the supply of rental properties on the market. And that could lower the price of rentals if things work out I agree. the way they're that's supposed a to in an thing economy to where things don't seem to make much sense more and more every day. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's a sensible All thing to do. All I'm saying is, market's oversaturated. You have to Sorry. adapt. If you don't yeah, adapt, the emoji you get you were looking for is this. Oh yeah, the the yes, the tear. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, here's the situation. I, I love Airbnb. Said it out loud. <laughs> uh, Said and, it out loud. Uh, and I like uh, going to those whole like I, yeah, it's like having a whole bunch of different homes in different places. So it's great. Yeah, I agree okay. too. Does it have some uh, issues yeah. lately? Absolutely. We do Airbnb all okay. the time when we so travel. So we did a story uh, a little while back about now the owners are attaching all sorts of conditions. Right? They give you a cleaning fee. 
all right, I can live with a cleaning fee. I get it. You got to clean up your yeah. place, right? Yeah, then they started true. jacking up the cleaning fee, and I was like, yeah, that, that cleaning. I'm no, I haven't done it. In. I haven't is done a that. Wolf myself. coming in here to clean up? Do we murder <laughs> someone in the basement? Why yeah. is this cleaning fee so large? But then and they then, have a laundry, literally a laundry list for you, right? Yeah. Like, well, like yeah. do do the laundry, wash the dishes, really? take out the trash, basically clean the entire property, and pay a cleaning fee. No, I specifically say in there's there's a, like a uh, notion manual that I send out to uh, um, people who are uh, staying in my properties. I literally tell them you don't have to do anything. We, we're going to clean them anyways. Leave the trash. Leave everything else. That's surprising that you know over in the U.S. people are asking like Airbnb are asking for tenants to do work for them. That's surprising. Which, but why? Why would we do that? Yeah. But that's a little bit of yeah, a separate why? issue, yeah. but I, exactly. I can imagine that no, it's no, playing it's not into a separate the problem. Issue. Oh, okay, okay, okay yeah. Jake. So, um, it's so a hospitality exactly business. To, and they're like, okay, and my cat's there, and you got to fleece it for lice, and then... Oh, like their cats live there. Okay, I get it. So these properties are not pure investment properties, I guess. So, um, yeah, in that case, I, I do agree that you, you can demand a list of things to do before you know, just clean the pl place properly so that, you know, the owners can come back and live in there. And then I, I kept reading to see like, all right, well, there's an oversaturation, so obviously they're gonna lower the prices. It's called mm -hmm. capitalism, yeah, look exactly. into it. But it's they, called free markets, look into it, yeah. mm -hmm. right? No, but they didn't look into they it. They refused to right. do it. Yeah. So it turns out they haven't lowered the prices at all. And they're no. like, uh, oh my God, about this house, and I demand to have it filled at all times. And I demand that you do my laundry and dishes and that's Fanny Petty, of course. I'll be stopping by during your vacation. And I won't lower prices at all. No, that's Yeah, I totally agree with him in there. Yeah, totally. Um you have to adapt, like I said. Like if the economy changes, if the markets change, you have to adapt. You can't be sitting there entitled thinking like I just I I deserve to get paid consistently the same amount no matter what. Like that's ridiculous. That's not how it works. That's no, not how but, it works. But it's the Entitlement mindset you would expect from someone who wants to like just sit around and collect passive income, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, yeah like, I agree I with that. Yeah. Like, side note, there is no such thing as passive income. Yeah, like, exactly. It's all a dream, right? Yeah, Unless exactly. Unless you're invested yeah. in stocks and they pay you dividends. Yeah, well, th look, th that's yeah, even a little stocks, bit easier. There's risk. You can go into you mutual funds, et cetera. <laughs> but when you're doing an Airbnb, you got to go get the thing, you got to set it up, you got to arrange this, you got to arrange that. Unless and then when you have to do it, then you're like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. I just want it to be passive income. I mean, well, to be honest, um, the passive income that I do other than Airbnb is not the dividend stocks because um, dividend stocks uh, fluctuate um, a lot in in the, the prices um, and I do income funds. So uh, be sure to check that out. I'll, I'll have the, the video pop up above. Um, yes. I, I get to charge as much as I want, but if things go south, no, I'm still charging as much as I want. No, it's called supply and demand. Take these, an econ class. These numbers are also outrageous, and there should have been um, a regulatory effort to prevent the oversaturation that we're seeing, especially since we're dealing with the massive housing crisis and shortage. I, I, I do think there's a lot of regulations coming into place now, uh, especially in London. Um, I know that other places in the world where there, it's really touristy areas, and there's just influx of um, Airbnb properties coming in, uh, there are regulations being put in place. Um, I think the trend is going to be that, and it's going to be more and more difficult to do Airbnb, but there's still a lot of opportunities. You don't have to be doing only vacation homes, like I said. The housing exists, it's just that the housing has been snatched up by people looking for passive income. <laughs> like, it's insane. No, no, I don't just mind keep any of that. Look, I, if you want to do regulations to make sure there's affordable housing in your neighborhood, that makes sense to me, right? Institutional investors came in and snatched a bunch of homes. Well, guess what? You're not guaranteed a profit. Yeah, so institution snatching up properties is a real thing, and it's actually the the biggest driver behind a housing market uh, inflation. Uh, a lot of people think that it's it's people like me, the individual, individual wealthy individuals who are buying up the properties that are putting up the market price. Yes, it has an effect, but nowhere close to these institutions. I know that you know after talking to my property manager, who manages like uh, like 
big complex buildings. Uh, these institutions, they literally just go and buy up like entire block uh, and there's apartments in that block. And uh, these are like hundreds of units in these apartments. And they just do that and because they have the money and that's the real driver behind um, all the inflation in the housing market. It's not a thing. You lower the prices. And if that winds up costing you money, you eat it. That's how it works. And there's no Manny I totally thing. agree with this. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You can't like be like, yeah, free market. And they go, oh, no, free market. Somebody protect me. Yeah, so after watching that video, I agree with um, most of the stuff that was said in that video. Uh, I do agree that um, if you're an Airbnb investor and the economy has um, basically reversed and is, is heading down into recession, you could expect to see like de decline in occupancy rates and therefore uh, your, your profit is going to suffer. Which in that case, you should be adaptive, you should change and you should decrease your rates, um, make your properties more attractive to the uh, tourists and that's basically, that's basic economy, right? So you can't be sitting there entitled thinking that you, sh you deserve to make money no matter what happens, like that's, that's fantasy. So the other thing I wanted to kind of point out is was that uh, if the economy goes bad or whatever reasons and your occup occupancy rate goes down and you see a sharp decline in revenue, if you are having to sell your property because of that, uh, then I think you're quite over leveraged. So in any kind of investing you do, it's not just Airbnb, it could be stock markets or anything you do. If you are leveraged, um, uh, up to your neck, then you're going to be in trouble. So no matter what kind of investment you do, you should never be over leveraged. leveraged. Don't borrow too much money to make investments. Uh, for me, um, I've started 25%, uh, which is buy to let mortgages in UK, which is quite typical. But that's the minimum, uh, the kind of um, uh, down payment uh, amount, the percentage that you have to contribute. Uh, but you, as you uh, expand your business, you should look into um, pay up more and more for the next properties. So not just 25%, but you should increase it to 50%. And then you should increase to 75%. And then eventually just outright buy the properties 100%. That's what you should be striving to do. The other thing I wanted to mention is, is that the properties themselves, if you are highly focused properties, such as like vacation homes, right? They can't be used for any other purposes. Then you are open to more risk. Sure, you'll make more money because vacation homes tend to make more money because of all, all these families willing to pay a lot more. Uh, so there's definitely more profit margin, but nothing in this world is like free like that. If you're making more money in your investments, that that means you are usually making more, uh, you're taking more risks, okay? So that's exactly what's happening with the vacation homes. In my case, um, I have like really like a lot of businesses that are um, that have been halted since the pandemic and now they're reopening and they're getting government subsidies uh, play, uh things like airports and things like that that are reopening there's a lot of constructions happening there's other uh, construction contractors coming into the area to work and they are i've seen like my properties getting booked out for 30 days straight for one month by one person because the, the business is paying for them so it's not just a vacation the families uh families on vacation that are renting my uh properties it's also the contract workers and they pay not as much as the the people on holidays uh for a very short term basis like these people who are renting for two three days one week they're willing to pay a lot more money uh but uh it's still better than uh renting out to really long-term regular families like these contract workers they also they they prefer to rent airbnb properties because you know that you get like um washing machines a kitchen uh, you get to it's almost like a, a home away from home truly right so that's what they prefer the companies are paying um, a bit more than the regular uh, renting out to regular families uh, for a long-term basis so it's still it's a kind of like a medium risk and medium return and and therefore my properties serve multiple purposes not just you know for people on vacation so i do agree with uh, many analysts out there saying that we are heading into a recession this year and this means um, the saturated Airbnb markets, especially what I'm seeing with what Americans are doing with the um, only vacation home focused Airbnb properties, I think they are going to continue to suffer. Uh, and uh, it's really, it's gonna come down to whoever adapts and changes. And I think uh, I will, because of this, I will continue to pay a, uh, closer attention to my Airbnb properties as well. And uh, hopefully I can give you guys some updates. Um, especially when we get right into the really the worst of the worst recession. I'm curious to see 
uh, what's gonna happen to my Airbnb properties uh, because I am not leveraged I'm not worried you know like even if they make like no income at all like everything goes to zero occupancy like I I can cover them um, there's no there's no like pressure on my side so I should be able to hold on to them and give you like updates on what's happening but hopefully my Airbnb is being multi-purpose um, they could they could uh, be doing okay throughout these uh, tough times so uh, let me know how your investments are doing and um, stay safe and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys soon